Hello everyone! It's me again, Rose, from the Philippines. Welcome to the 472nd episode of Gancho Liara, a show and tell of fishy and craft related items. Today is September 11, a Wednesday today. I'm making an earlier podcast to share with you guys some items that my friend sent me uh, for resale with my other friend. And so, I'm making an earlier podcast today to show to, get to you guys the items. So, recently, my friend sees my link from the event from Trinoma. She recently availed a stall inside a mall in a supermarket. And she's asking us to share some slots with her. So, I asked uh, sis myself if she would like to share a slot with me on the store and she said yes and she was able to send me some items of hers that I will then send to sis Mylene tomorrow so it is in this box right here so I'm gonna share with you guys the contents of this uh, box as some type of podcast for today so it's earlier it's an earlier podcast so in this box she has sent there's a bubble wrap and then there's this list of the items that she wants me to resell or to send and then inside are all of her creations so this box is full of her creations and I will uh, show them to you one by one. So in here are her potted plants with some handmade etiquette to it. So I think she has five of this if I'm not mistaken. I don't know what type of uh, flower this is but it has wear on the petals so she has those then she has some tulips also that are in a potted plant that are potted and then the last ones are these ones they are very cute Flowers has no type of details to it. So those are most of the potted plants. And then she has some keychain ones. And according to this, she has about 13 pieces of the potted plant keychains. So there's going to be 13 pieces of this. One, two, and she incorporated different uh, chains to it. So sometimes she used this type, sometimes she used this type of um, key chain. So there are about a bunch of this. So many small ones and there's still plenty of it inside and then she has more of the keychains in here and there are also some bouquet bouquet keychains they are really pretty some are roses in different colors. This type of bouquet chain. More of a bouquet ones. And then some here like this. And she also has some, I, and this is the last one, and she also has some cell holders, 
with flowers on them, on them and then some velcro closure. That's a design. Some fillet cachet. Some more of those with a long strap to shoot them. Maybe you can adjust this. You can adjust the, the string to each of them. And then the last ones are the potted plants with lighting to them. I'm going to try to show you guys how it looks like with the lights on. She has about five of this in these flowers. So this is how it looks like with the lights. So she has five of this. So guys, these are all of our items. All laid out. So many pretty items which she has. She has some kitchens and some potted plants with a variety of flowers to it. And here are her potted plants with lights to it. With different color of flowers along with her cell phone sling bag pouches. Okay, so now I want to share with you guys the items that I'm going to uh, send to Sis Maylin. And I have uh, just a few of them to show you guys. I decided to finish some of the ones that I started from before so that I can have it back and send to her. So the first ones that I want to share with you guys is the, are the wind spinners. I was able to put a bead on the bottom part of it and I have uh, seven of this so I have these ones in these colors yesterday I added up the third round of single crochet without any increase to it so I'm hoping that they will spin since the string is thin I just put together the two ends. So these are the wind spinners and I have about seven of them. They really look cute. And then just a while ago, I was able to take a pattern for the lining of these bags right here. But this first one is the big pouch. So I was able to put lining and zipper to it. And I'm going to try to send this to Melai. I have a tutorial for this if you guys are interested. I will put the link on the description box below. So that is the beaded pouch. And then I was able to put a handle, zipper and lining to this mandala bag here. Just a small bag for a kid to wear. And that's why it has a short strap to it. I have this uh, nylon bag here that can also be worn by a kid. And this has some alligator design to it. And some back loop only. For this one, I was also able to put a lining and a zipper to it. And the last bag is this bag right here. I incorporated a variegated and a plain fine cotton yarn for this bag here and this also has a lining to it so those are most of the projects that I want to share with you guys today and I'm hoping to see you again soon with some other items that I want to share I'm just making an earlier podcast because I'm gonna send this to my Lynn tomorrow so that is it for today. I hope you guys have a fine time crafting and some family bonding time of sorts. God bless everyone.